Hi, I'm Megan Boat, the Executive Director of the Ottawa Conservation District. Although I'm disappointed, we cannot celebrate our conservation work with you in person this year. I am thrilled that I do have access to technology that allows me to record a message and share with you how we have preserved in the face of adversity. COVID-19 has brought unprecedented challenges to our organization, as it has to all of you. With that being said, our board of directors, our staff, and our partners have been resilient. I plan on sharing with you the many successes our district has achieved amid this pandemic. The native tree seedling sale and the native plant sale. Navigating these new waters was challenging, but with your patience and support, we were able to still hold both of these events. We implemented an appointment pickup system to both events, and they went on without a hitch. We sold 11,649 seedlings and 1,747 native plants. In 2020, our forester Ben Savoy completed 91 site visits and enrolled 11 of these sites into the Qualified Forest Program, covering 818 acres. He also held seven outreach events and 35 media occurrences. MEEP, also known as the Michigan Environmental Education Assurance Program. MEEP has been a cornerstone of our organization for many years, providing farms of all sizes and commodities tools to minimize agriculture pollution risks. This year, our MEEP specialist, Sarah Bronkema, completed 42 risk assessments covering 294 acres. 18 farming and greenhouse systems were verified, and a total of 72 risk reduction practices were implemented, including improved nutrient and manure management practices, sensitive area identification, and fuel storage safety. The Bass River Deer Creek Restoration Project. This project is dedicated to reducing nutrient sediment and E. coli levels in the Bass River and Deer Creek watershed by providing technical assistance and cost share funding for best management practices. In 2020, this grant allowed for cost share assistance in six septic system replacements and over 4,300 acres of cover crops and reduced tillage. The Ottawa Conservation District has been working closely with partners to develop a watershed management plan for the Pigeon River watershed. This watershed management plan will be a publicly available reference guide for any information about the watershed. To gather comprehensive information about this watershed, the Ottawa Conservation District has sent out surveys to residents, conducted multiple inventories of the land and water, and monitored E. coli levels to gain a clearer picture of the non-point source pollutants, which could potentially be affecting surface water quality. This year, we wrapped up our road stream crossing inventory in both the Pigeon River and Sand Creek watersheds. We collected valuable information on the infrastructure and habitat conditions of over 240 different culverts and bridges throughout Ottawa and Kent County. This information will be shared with partners to help advise future improvements that can be made in the waterways and trout streams. Our district is a proud home of the West Michigan Sisma, also known as the Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area. The West Michigan Sisma here at the Conservation District consists of two projects, our Hemlock Woolly Adagia Project and our West Michigan Invasive Species Strike Team. Our forest pest technicians have had a very productive year with survey and treatment of hem hemlock woolly adalgid, or HWA. Technicians spend the winter months surveying and collecting data in preparation for the summer months to treat the trees they surveyed. During survey season, the, si the SISMA surveyed nearly 20,000 trees across 650 acres. And in the treatment season, our staff was able to treat just over 20,500 trees across 
1,227 acres. The West Michigan CISMA also consists of strike teams that work out of three conservation districts in West Michigan. Their work is to address invasive species on both public and private properties. In total, nearly 600 treatments were completed this last year on over 580 acres. This year, we had 36 volunteers outside of our organization join us for over six events. We were grateful for the volunteers that helped us in our annual tree sale, our native plant sale, our beach cleanups, our highway cleanups, and our scrap tire recycling event. Due to everyone's hard work, we cleaned up 119 pounds of trash off our local beaches, countless bags of trash along the side of the highway, and we collected almost 2,000 tires to be recycled. We are thankful for everyone that participated in our social distancing and safety guidelines as we were able to get out and care for our beautiful county. I want to thank the Ottawa County Commissioners and staff for their continued support of our mission by providing the Ottawa Conservation District its operational support. Without their backing and investment, we could not have achieved this year's success. That support not only gives us the ability to reach our current year goals, but it allows us to take a chance to look into the future. This year, we are beginning just that, with the guidance of our board of directors, our partners, stakeholders, and the residents of Ottawa County, we are engaged in a five-year strategic planning process that will help guide our work well down the road. Please check out our new website for more information on our resource needs assessment survey, all of our programs, our upcoming election for two open seats in the, on the Conservation District Board, our fundraisers, and much, much more. Thank you again for your continued support of our mission. With all of your help, we have accomplished much, and we are looking forward to doing more in the years to come.